and gentlemen, and good evening, fellow chefs. Uh, welcome back to a beautiful, and it's going to be actually a great um, session of Chefs Matter. Um, as you remember last week, uh, my butcher and I showed you how to carve. Now, we uh, uh, did a beautiful carving with the lamb, and we showed you different ways to carve and how to carve, and we showed you also uh, different pieces from the lamb. Now, this evening, we're gonna show you how to work with that lamb, how to make beautiful dishes, how to make from separate uh, pieces, separate dishes, and uh, after the break, I will uh, leave and I will introduce my fellow chef here, um, uh, Mr. Salim, who is uh, the chef at the Pango, our uh, Pango Brasserie, um, to show you how to make different dishes and different flavors. Now, last week we talked about the cutlets. We uh, did the cutlets this way, and now this evening, he will show you how to make a different way the cutlets. We call it the Moroccan cutlets of Crepinette. Uh, Moroccan, why? Because I come from Morocco, so I have some dishes uh, coming from, uh, from Morocco also, from North Africa. Uh, we gotta show you how to use the minced meat. Now, remember last week we told you, uh, use 20% 20, 20 of fat and 80% of uh, lean meat. So this is what we did here. And then also the T-bones, we'll show you how to do it. Now, thank you very much. Uh, I will uh, give the way to my chef here, please. Welcome back to Chef's Platter. My name is Chef Salim. Uh, I'm the chef at the Pango, the chef I said. So today I'm going to show uh, different types of cuts, uh, of cuts of lamb. We have the lamb chops, which we are going to make them as the Moroccan lamb chops. So we are going to fuse the Moroccan cuisine with the uh, Kenyan cuisine. And also I'm going to show you about the uh, lamb steaks and how to prepare them and how to plate them. Uh, I'm going to start with the Moroccan lamb chops, see the minced meat from the lamb. As the chef has said, we have to have 20% uh, of, the, of the fat and 90% of the meat. So I'm going to use different spices to give uh, uh, flavor to my meat. So I'm going to start with the garlic. As you know, garlic is very good for the heart. I'm going to put a little bit of the Moroccan spices, which are made by our chef, Mosin. A little bit of coriander. Chopped white onion. A little bit of parsley. Salt. black pepper and also a little bit of olive oil then I'm going to mix it very thoroughly to make sure each and everything mixes well We put a little bit of olive oil to make it also a little bit tender. After mixing it, I'm going now to take my chops. We cut them differently from the other uh, chops, as you have seen in the butchery. 
This one we cut it a little bit uh, flat and we try to give it a base so that uh, we can put the minced meat. It can hold the minced meat. So I'm going to give them a nice base. Now I'm going to put my minced meat. Also, you have to be very careful with it so that it can not be so big. It has to be around 90 grams, one, because you are going to serve two of them, so that it can come to 180 grams. So one thing about uh, culinary, it is about the preparation, cooking of the food, and also presentation. They are very vital. The preparation, you have to have everything so that you can cook a nice dish and also present it very well. So I'm going to go on with my chops. I'm going to turn it. You have to be very patient with it so that you can make a beautiful Moroccan chops. It also has to take the shape of the chop. Now after putting the minced meat on the lamb chops, we are going to use the, uh, the fat from the belly of the lamb so that we can tie it because you cannot grill it when it is not tied because the minced meat will peel off. Now this is the, this is the fat we get from the lamb. Mostly it protects the intestines. So uh, the chef had said, we use each and everything uh, of the meat we get from the lamb, the bones, the fat, everything we use to make in different kind of uh, uh, dishes. So now I'm going to tie it. You spread it very well so that you cannot waste it. You don't have to cut it fast. You have to place, uh, you place your chops. With the, together with the minced meat at the far end. Then you start with this side. You roll it over. Then you are going to cut a little bit on this side so that it can cover on this side. Then I'm going to cut it once again to make sure each and every part is covered. And I press it a bit to make sure it is sticks together. Now this is what we get as the final product. You can see it is very beautiful. Now when you are going to cook it, you have to make sure the sides binds together, they don't uh, separate, so that you can have a very beautiful chop. I'm going to make also, to tie the other one. One thing about being a chef, make sure you don't have so much wastage, because otherwise you are not going to make any profit when you have so much wastage. So I'm also going to start at the far end, cover this side, then I'm going to cut it a little bit. Cover this side. It is a very simple task, but 
you have to train so that you can be able to roll it very fast and also nicely. Now I'm through with it. After rolling it, you have to keep for a couple of hours, you keep it in the fridge so that also the fat can stick together and uh, not be able to, to open when you are grilling. So we made this one with, together with my chef a couple of uh, hours earlier. So this one, the fat, uh, the fat has, uh, has uh, come together. So I'm going to grill it. I'm going to use uh, this grill so that I can give it some marks. In this grill, we, we have uh, some uh, vegetables in it, some herbs in it, so that when you are grilling, it, you are grilling everything, you can also get the smell of the herbs from the lamb. So I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil on it, the grill. I'm going to place my lamb there. Now it's, it is going to cook for just a couple of minutes, like uh, five minutes. Then I'm going to put it in the oven for about uh, seven minutes for 139 degrees in the oven. So it has to, uh, this is how I like my lamb. I like my lamb when it is medium. It is very nice when you're presenting it when it is medium. It is also very juicy. With the lamb, it has to be juicy so that you can feel that taste. For those people who like it when it is medium. So I'm going to turn it. See, I give it the max. And also we can put a little bit of also rosemary and uh, garlic and some minced onions. to give it the flavor it requires. So now you can see my lamp is not going to, uh, is no, the sides are not going to separate. It is just going to cook because you have kept it for a couple of uh, hours so that it can stick together, the fats together with the minced meat. So we give it some time so that it can cook. So you have to brush your, your, your tray a little bit so that you cannot stick in it also. So now you can feel the flavors coming from the grill, from the vegetables. One thing about cooking, you have to be creative. You have to, be, to think outside the box because the world, uh, the world we are living in is becoming more dynamic each and every day. You are getting uh, chefs becoming more creative each and every day. So you have to be very, very creative with each and everything. That's why me, uh, myself and the chef, we had to come up with the Moroccan lamb chops to fuse the Moroccan cuisine with the Kenyan cuisine. So now I'm going to take them off. You can see these are the marks I wanted to get for meat. Now after getting it in from the grill, I'm going to put it in my oven for about seven minutes at uh, 139 degrees. That will be after the break. We are going to plate it. I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain on how to make the sauces. We are going to, this, uh, the lamb is going to go with the honey glazed sauce. So after the break, I'm going to show you on how to plate it. And uh, I'm going to explain much further on how to make the sauces. Thank you.
Welcome back to Chef's Platter. As I told you, I'm going to explain on how to make the honey glazed sauce for the lamb. It is a very nice sauce which goes with the lamb. So the honey glazed sauce, we basically use the brown stock, whereby we use the bones from the lamb. We, we put them in a big pan. Uh, we put some water, vegetables, tomato paste, then we let it boil for 72 hours. It boils on a low fire so that we can, it can reduce slowly by slowly while uh, you get the brown stock. Now, this is the uh, brown stock together with the ani and we put a little bit of uh, red wine so that it can reduce with it. Uh, now, in this sauce we are going to get is a little bit sweet and a little bit of uh, sourness from the red wine. So this is the red, uh, the honey glazed sauce, for the, which goes very nicely with the lamb. Now before we play the Moroccan lamb chops, I'm going also to do the uh, steaks from the lamb. These are the loins from the lamb. I'm going to grill them on my grill here. So I give them, uh, I brush my grill with a bit, little bit of oil. Grill them a bit. Then we put a little bit of our marination on it. One thing about uh, being a professional chef, you have to think about the each and every cut. We have the fillets, we have the loins, we have the chops. Each and every cut has uh, a different timing. Like the loins we have here, the steaks, they have a different timing with the chops. Because this one, if I want them medium because of the size, I'm going to put them for around eight minutes. For 139 or so. I'm going to turn them. You can see the color they are getting. Very, very beautiful. So we have to put a little bit of salt on uh, in them. Now for the steaks, we are going to serve them with a mushroom and a red wine sauce. I'm also going to explain about the mushroom and red wine sauce to go with the steaks. So I'm going to explain to you about the mushroom and red wine sauce uh, before the, my steaks cooks. Now this is the mushroom and the red wine sauce. You just get the brown stock, as I had explained to you earlier on. The brown stock, uh, the way we make it. Then you put, you chop your mushrooms, you put inside the sauce. You let it cook for some time together with the red wine. When it cooks, you just blend it and add a, a little bit of whipping cream and season it with salt and pepper. So you get a very, very beautiful sauce and a creamy sauce. It is a very nice sauce to go with the steak, and everyone will be craving for 
your dish. So now I'm going to take out my steaks. I'm going to put it in the oven for around eight minutes uh, for 139 degrees in the oven. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to show you on how to place the steaks and the Moroccan chops. So thank you so much. See you then. Welcome back to Chef's Platter. My name is Chef Salim. As I had told you earlier, I'm going to show you on how to play the Moroccan lamb chops and, and the lamb steaks. One thing about the uh, plating, you have to play with the colors. You have to check the background of your plate. You have also to play with different colors so that you can make the food appealing to the guest. Uh, now we are going to, catch, uh, to cut the lamb chops. I cut it to give it a very nice base so that it can stand on my plate. You can see how beautiful it is. I'm going to plate it together with the, with the lamb steaks. We've made a puree of a garden piece. Going to make very nice dots. I'm going to, uh, to break the color with a bit of a uh, carrot puree. Now for the steaks, I'm going to use a beetroot puree. and a bit of uh, cauliflower. And also some garden peas. So I'm going to use uh, some rolled uh, gojets. I'm going to roll them over here. You should make your plate more and more appealing.
going to use some turnips. This is all about uh, breaking the colors. So I'm going to use uh, some beetroots to make my plate more and more beautiful. Some baby corn. Now I'm going to start with the Moroccan chops. I'm also going to plate my uh, steaks. They are very nice and tender. For the Moroccan chops, as I told you earlier, I'm going to uh, plate them with the uh, honey glazed sauce. It is a very nice sauce to go with the lamb. It also has some mint in it. Because uh, lamb, mostly when you eat it, it has some itching effect. My steaks, I'm going to plate them with uh, uh, mushroom and red wine sauce. Finally, I'm going to add some flowers in my plate. Bon appétit. Uh, now you can have your dishes. And uh, I will see you next week as we prepare the uh, lamb shank on the next episode of the Chef's Platter. Thank you so much. It was, uh, uh, it was uh, very nice having you. I'm Chef Salim. See you next week as we prepare the lamb shank. Thank you. Mm -hmm.